Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on the channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to make a completely functional round system with map voting. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing that you wanna do is create your maps. So here I have four maps, desert, snowy, grassland, and poison. So how you're gonna set up your maps is uh, you wanna make sure that all your maps are models and that the primary part is actually the base so let's just say like in the grassland for example you have a couple of trees and stuff make sure to set your primary part to this bottom part this is what we're going to be using to position it in a certain area so once you actually like create your map and make it into a model there is a few things that you need to do so the first thing that you need to do is create this spawns folder and this will have a couple different parts as spawns so i only have one for now and it's all right if you have one but make sure you have at least one or else the code will error out you can have multiple around the map that is fine as well make sure it's in the spawns folder you also want to have this string value called image value so this image value, how it's going to work is that in the voting booth, it's going to show an image of the map. So what you want to do is like screenshot this and then upload it to Roblox and get the image value of it and put it right here. So once you've done those steps, you have successfully set up all of the maps. All right, so we're going to take these maps and we're just going to do control alt G to put it into a folder and we're going to name it maps and we're going to put them straight into server storage just like that. All right, so the next thing that I have here are the voting areas. So I already made mine, but I will quickly go over how you can build your own voting area. So I have three voting areas. You can choose how many you want. I recommend three. Um, but how it's going to work is inside of it, you're going to have a few parts. The first part, this is going to be like the touch part. This is just decorative. We are actually going to use uh, the zone module to actually count the votes. But you can just have this here to show that they're actually stepping into the pad and they're actually voting. We have the screen here. So the screen is going to have a few things inside of the surface GUI. It's going to have a title, which will display the name of the map the votes, which will display the amount of votes, and the map image. This will be dynamically filled based off of the um, image value that you added right here for each map. But once you guys set up that surface GUI, we also have the voting zone. Now this is really important. So how the voting zone works is that it's just this big box. And anytime that the player, um, anytime that the player touches this, it will count as a vote for the voting machine. So make sure that it is anchored and can collide off so the player can actually touch it and the votes can count. Make sure it's a little tall too because if it's lower, um, if it's lower than the player's height itself, it actually won't count. So make sure it's quite tall. Um, but once you set that up, the final thing you need is an int value called votes. This will be inside each voting machine and it'll go up by one or down by one, depending on the votes. So once you set up one, you can just duplicate it two more times and then name it voting area two, voting area three. And now you have the three voting areas. Once you create them, you can just take them and put them straight into server storage, just like that. All right, so we're almost done with the setup. The last thing that we need to do is create a platform or an area where the map will spawn. So this is what I have right here. It's really basic. I have this platform part and then this part called teleport map. This is where once the player votes for a map, the map will be teleported right here. So instead of it like being over there or wherever you actually build it, it will always be teleported to right here, which is awesome. But for this one, make sure that the can collide is false and the anchor is ticked just like that. All right, so once you've done that, we can actually start coding. Actually, no, actually before that, what we're gonna do is inside of the workspace, let's create a folder, not a script. Let's create a folder and we're going to name it voting areas, just like that. And it's just a folder where all the voting machines will go once it is in the workspace. Awesome, so once we have that, we can actually create our script. So let's create a script inside of server script service and we're gonna name this handler just like that. 
All right, so once you name it handler, we can start coding. So what we need to get is the server storage. We need to get the replicated storage and we need to get the players just like that. Now, once you guys do that, we actually need to add a module into the um, into the replicated storage. So I'm going to paste it here, create a folder called modules. And inside of that, you want to get the zone module. All right. So I'll have a link to that in the pinned comment. You can just click on it and download it. But once you get it, just put it into the modules folder, just like that. Awesome. So now that you have the zone module, we can say local zone is equal to require replicated storage on modules dot zone, just like that. Local maps is equal to server storage dot maps on get children. And then we need to set a few times. So local intermission time for testing. I'll set it to five seconds local voting time I'll set to five seconds and local game time I'll set to five seconds just like that make sure to customize these to however long you want the times to be for your game once we do that we're actually going to start off with a while true loop because we want this to loop around forever and ever so let's start with the while true loop and then after that we're going to count down the intermission so we're going to say 4i equals intermission time 0 minus 1 do and we're going to say task dot wait 1 and then we want to update a GUI so let's quickly make the status GUI so for this it's going to be very simple nothing special we're just going to have a st screen GUI a label called status label which is actually visible but I don't have any text in here so it's kind of like that and that is all the setup we need. We also need a local script inside of it. But before I go over that, we actually need to create the status string value. So let's insert a string value and name it status just like that. So once we do that, we can go inside of the local script for the status label. And here, all we need to do is get the replicated storage, get the status value. And we just want to say that uh, on load we want to set the text to the status value and every time the status changes we want to update it just like that so it's a really simple text but it's going to help out the player a lot so let's close this up and we can continue coding the handler so here we can say replicated storage dot status dot value is equal to intermission dot dot i just like that after that, we'll say replicate storage status value intermission has ended. We're going to wait two seconds and now we want to bring out the voting booths. So we'll say server storage voting area one dot parent is equal to workspace dot voting areas. We'll duplicate that twice and do it for voting area two and three. Once we do that, we're actually going to set up a maps table. So local maps table is equal to empty table for underscore map in I pairs maps table dot insert maps table map just like that. So once we do that, we can actually set up the voting booths. So we'll say for I voting area in I pairs workspace dot voting areas going get children to say if hashtag map table maps table is equal to zero then break and we'll say local random index is equal to math dot random one hashtag oops one and then hashtag maps table local random map is equal to maps table random index after that, we're going to update everything um, in the voting area screen. So we'll say voting area dot screen dot surface GUI dot frame dot title dot text is equal to random map dot name voting area dot screen dot surface GUI dot frame map image uh, image is equal to and then we're going to say RBX asset ID colon slash slash and then dot dot random map dot image ID is that what we had it as no we had it as image value dot value 
just like that. So that will make sure that the image loads in correctly. After that, we'll say voting area dot screen surface GUI dot frame dot votes dot text is equal to votes zero and voting area dot votes dot value is equal to zero just like that. Once we do that, we want to make sure that no two voting booths are voting for the same map. So we're going to say table dot remove and maps table and random index just like that. Awesome. Now that we've done that, we're going to set up these zones. So for that, we're going to say zone, our local zone is equal to zone dot new. And we'll say voting area dot voting zone. So it's going to initiate a new zone. Zone dot player entered colon connect function pass through the player. We're going to say voting area dot votes dot value plus equal to one just like that. We can copy this paste this here and say player exited and do minus equals one. So it subtracts a vote. After that, we just want to set up a quick connection. We're going to say voting area dot votes dot change colon connect function. We're going to say voting area. Actually, let's just copy that. Paste it here. But instead of votes zero, we're going to say votes dot dot two string voting area dot votes dot value just like that. Awesome. So now that our whole voting system has been set up, what we're going to do is actually figure out the votes. So let's create the voting time by saying for i equals voting time 0 minus 1 do test I'll wait 1 down there and we'll say replicated storage dot status dot values equal to voting dot dot i. Once that's done, we'll say replicated storage dot status dot value voting has ended and then we're actually going to see which map won. So we're going to say local voted map is equal to nil. Local most votes is equal to zero. We'll say for i voting area in i pairs workspace dot voting areas colon get children do. If voting area dot votes dot values greater than the most votes, then we're actually going to update the most votes with the voting area dot votes dot value and we'll say the voted map is the voting area dot screen that surface GUI dot frame dot title dot text just like that. So we're going to get the most votes and the voted map. Now let's just say nobody votes then the voted map will continue to stay nil. So to change that we're going to check if voted map is still nil and if it is we're going to set the voted map to maps math dot random one hashtag maps dot name just like that awesome so once we have done that we are going to move the voting areas back so actually let's just copy that and we're just going to flip them over so we're going to say workspace dot voting areas dot parent is equal to and then server storage just like that. So once we've done that, let's wait two seconds. We'll say replicate storage dot status dot value is equal to the chosen map is dot dot voted map with dot dot two string most votes votes just like that. Once we've done that, we're going to wait three seconds replicate storage dot status dot value it's equal to loading map dot 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 just like that. We'll wait another two seconds and we're going to clone the map. So local cloned map is equal to server storage dot maps vote in map colon clone cloned map dot parent is equal to workspace cloned map colon pivot to workspace dot teleport map dot C frame and just a reminder the teleport map is this invisible part here where the map will be teleported onto so back in the script once we've done that we'll say replicate storage dot status dot value 
See whether teleporting players dot 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 task dot wait to local spawns is equal to cloned map dot spawns phone get children for i plr in pairs players going get players do plr dot character colon move to spawns math dot random one hashtag spawns dot position so this will move the player to a random position we'll wait two seconds we'll say replicate store dot status dot value is equal to game on because all the players have been teleported once we do that let's start the game so far i equals game time zero minus one do we'll wait one second down there here we'll say replicate storage dot status dot value is equal to time left dot dot i once it's done we'll say replicated storage dot status dot value is equal to the game is over we will loop through all the players in the game so pairs players call and get players do we're going to load their character so they leave the map we will wait two seconds and we will tell the players that it's cleaning up and we'll say if workspace colon find first child vote in map we're going to say workspace vote in map colon destroy just like that so we destroy the map and we wait two seconds just like that and that is going to wrap up the entire script let's quickly play the game test out everything is working intermission zero intermission has ended we have the voting so let's choose grassland votes go up voting has ended grassland has won with one vote we're gonna load the map and it is loaded teleporting the players players are teleported the game time starts so let's give that a second the game is over we're teleported back we're cleaning up and the intermission starts all over again but yeah guys that's going to be it for this video if you like this video make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye